Hello, welcome back. Next thing I'd like us to do is in our selected filter list, I think it'd be really nice if we had a little preview for each of the filters that are being applied. So let's see if we can make that happen. So I guess first of all we need to go to our storyboard and update these cells. So main storyboard, there's our select filters, and here's our prototype cell. So let's take the label and move it out of the way because we're going to have to put an icon over there also known as a UI image. So there's a UI image, sorry, an image view. So I'll push this over here and uh, let's size this a little more nicely. So I'll say 0, 0 so it'll sit in the corner and 40, 40 for the approximate size. Uh, and actually, I'll just show, I'm going to make that even 20, 20. I mean, it doesn't have to be the right size because it'll get resized when we do the following. When we go over to our pin um, and tell it we want some constraints set on it. So let's set it, uncheck the constraint to margins, say 0, 0, and 0. Right? Uh, and lastly, we also want the aspect ratio to be maintained. We're going to set the aspect ratio to, um, to 1 to 1. So, and let's also update the items all frame. We'll do this guy right here. Okay, great. So that shows us how big that is approximately. Um, next, I'm going to grab the label and um, at the moment the label is positioned relative to this margin here. And we want to change that. So I'm going to delete that constraint. Just go delete and instead, see how it's gone red? It's because we don't have enough constraints. Instead, I will just drag the label relative to the relative to our image, and then I'm going to go Control Click from there to the image and set the horizontal spacing between the two. So now, when this is drawn, the image will be here, the label will be here, and there'll always be that gap between them. Uh, that looks about right to me. Let's uh, visit the code behind this. So that is the, um, actually, you know, we need to create an outlet for this image. So let's go to our assistant. Let's bring up the custom filter code, that custom filter cell. And I'm going to click on the image, control, drag over to here and this will be called our preview image. That works for me. Connect that. Okay, so now we have this preview image that can be updated to show a little preview. Uh, now, who actually updates this? Well, that would be over in the Select Filters View Controller. Um, right. So, in Select Filters View Controller, remember we uh, create our cells. We create our cells right here, uh, our uh, custom filter cells, when we do DQ reusable cell with identifier. See, custom filter cell. So this is a good spot for us to actually update the uh, preview. You know, whenever we create one of these filter cells, we can assign that preview image. So let's go forward and do that. Now to do this, uh, we probably need to have an image to start with. We need to know what the original image is that we're, you know, playing with. So um, Select Filters View Controller doesn't know that. The View Controller does. The View Controller, it knows what the original image was, and it'll keep track of that. Um, so this feels like something that should be passed from the View Controller to the selected filters view controller. And the place to do that is our segue down here. Prepare for segue. This is where we pass information from this view controller into the view controller that we're pushing to. So uh, yes, we're going to want to have some kind of a method on here to receive that image. So let's do that. I'll go back to select filters view controller 
and we're going to create a function um, just anywhere we're funk and this will be uh, set set original image actually let's call it uh, yeah set original image for preview yeah for preview that way the caller knows that's the reason why this has to be passed in so what's it going to pass in an image and that will be we're going to make this a uh, a UI image I might change my mind on that but then again I might not right okay there's a yeah let's plumb this in now so we've got this method we're gonna have to put code here there's a reminder to fill that in I'm gonna jump back to the view controller and at this point this is where we want to call our new method right and we're gonna pass in the uh, original image okay that looks good uh, now let's pop back to our uh, select filters view controller put code here well let's put the code here um, so we're going to assign this to uh, a variable that we can use later and this will be the uh, I'm going to call this the uh, original thumbnail because we want this to be a small image okay so the original thumbnail is a UI image and uh, yeah that should do it okay oh yes and we want to steal some code from the original view controller I want to find that uh, resizing code that we made so that was the image shrinker so I'm just going to copy this line and let's go back to select filters view controller and our thumbnail doesn't need to be very big at all so I'm going to arbitrarily say 128 if it turns out that that's too small or too big we can adjust it um, okay so what does an image shrinker do well image shrinker has got a resize image and we pass in the original image and maybe I'll even call it that original image I guess I could have just called it original okay and it's going to return an image and we're going to assign that to the uh, original thumbnail okay that looks pretty good so the original thumbnail has got to be put a question mark there because it's actually you've got a choice here I'm going to change that I'm going to say equals UI image just to show you a different way to do it so it's pretty cheap to create we think it's cheap to create one of these so it's, you know when you create a select filters view controller um, by populating it with uh, a, a, an empty UI image object that satisfies the compiler so that's another way of silencing that kind of an error so that's just a minor thing um, let's continue on so now we've got our thumbnail uh, and now it's pretty easy for us to um, update that update those uh, images so where is that again that would be in our uh, right here yes right here so about this place we can do the following so we now have our little uh, thumbnail to play with so for starters I'm going to just take our filter right and we're going to apply it to an image what image are we going to apply it to well our original uh, thumbnail okay and that will give us a filtered thumbnail okay and what can we do with the filtered thumbnail well we can go to the cell and it's now got a preview image on it 
and we can assign the filtered thumbnail to it. Right. And of course that's not oh, we got a couple of problems here. One I can see myself. Um, what's this one has probably got to do with Ah cannot convert yeah yes 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 okay when we apply our filters it's expecting this to be an, an image not a UI image so I'll just do this which is the common pattern and I'm also expecting an error over here oh um, let's see why didn't that work oh yes of course Okay, this one is complaining because this is an image, a UI image, and this is actually a uh, what's it called a uh, image view can uh, an image view. Um, it's actually the image that we need to assign to, right? So that's that's basically the widget, and we're assigning something to its image property. Um, and this we need to do to UI image. Oops. perfect. Okay, that looks about right to me. Let's give that a quick run and here's the before. I'm expecting that it should now show little previews for each of the filters. And in this version our previews are going to be just we're going to take the original image apply the filter and that's what our preview is going to be. So I'll quickly add say four filters. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Looks not bad. Nice. Okay and click apply and that is the summation of all the filters. So as you can see we got little previews for each of the filtering effects and uh, yeah that's a nice little enhancement so I'll stop that one here and uh, join you in the next video thank you